Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another Shadow Depths NFT Battle Miners Beginner Guide, where we're going to go ahead and talk about quantum tuning. This is a brand new feature that's part of this new season, season three, that we're going to go ahead and talk through. I think it's an awesome addition. It, it kind of gives additional value and, and some RNG to the game as far as with equipment that you can get plus it gives you another uh, mechanism to burn some of those unwanted uh, materials before we jump into the video i know i have to do everyone's least favorite part of the video and let you know this disclaimer i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice please make sure you do your own research before you jump into any project don't take my word or anything that's said in this video as financial advice or advice in any way I'm just a gamer playing a game and reviewing games as part of this. I am not telling you to jump into any project or anything along those lines. Do your own research. Make sure it's right for you. Go ahead and pause this video and read this thoroughly uh, before we jump into it. All right, so let's get back to the video. So what is quantum tuning? It is essentially adding different features or attributes to your armor and your weapons that you have. Um, for example, I'll show you just an example here. This helmet that I have here, you see this highlighted in yellow? That was added as part of the tuning process. So what can happen is commons can go ahead and get two attributes, I'm sorry, one attribute. Uh, epics and rares get two attributes, and then above that you get three attributes. The question is how do you go ahead and do the process? What you want to go ahead and do is you're logged into your Shadow Depth game. Uh, you're going to go to Workshop. And then you're going to go here down to that pull down menu and do quantum tuning. And the nice thing about quantum tuning is it does not take a crafting slot. It's instant. Uh, and it's, it's just a nice feature to add there. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple examples here. We're going to start off with uh, a common. I'm going to go ahead and click on a common laser rifle. And what you're going to see down here is slots that are available. And what you can see is that there are a total of three slots. But for commons, you can only use one. The, the other two, T2 and T3, are limited by the, the rarity. So, so that's what you can see there. And then on the right side, you're going to see what it's going to cost you to go ahead and add some tuning to it. It's going to cost uh, 20,000, I'm sorry, 2,000 plus 20 of the, the common materials in order to go ahead and do it. And you can use any of the common materials that are in here that you want to go ahead and use. I have a whole lot of these copper coils here, so we're going to go ahead and click on uh, technically 21 of them. It's only going to use 20, as you can see here, and you're going to see the, the tune-up light up here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on tune-up, and you can see that this changed. It, it changed uh, from nothing on there to a lifesteal plus one, which is it's, uh, it's okay for a common. You can go ahead and take uh, HP from whoever you're fighting against. If you don't like that roll, you have the chance to go ahead and randomize it and roll again, which I'm going to show you here in a second. It's still going to cost you 20 of the common. So I'm going to go ahead and use these guys again. And then I'm going to hit random. And it's going to go ahead and re-roll this T1 item. It goes to a, a damage of plus six, which I like. I like that on a weapon at plus six damage. Um, so that's that's the common. It's pretty simple. You can go ahead and burn a bunch of materials uh, that you may or may not want to use. Um, if you want to go ahead and do a rare or an epic, I happen to have a rare here. As you can see, when you go to rare, you have two slots open. What you're going to have to go ahead and do is, is go ahead and tune it up twice to get both. Uh, the nice thing with, with the higher rarity ones is it takes less material. This takes uh, 10. When you go ahead and get to the epic, it takes less. I, I believe it's five it takes in order to go ahead and do it. I have not tried a legendary yet. But what you can go ahead and do is you simply uh, go ahead and click on these. And when I go ahead and click tune up, it's only going to do one attribute. So if I go ahead and click on one, you'll see it only added one attribute. I have to go ahead and tune it up one more time to add a second attribute there. But the nice thing is if you randomize when you have the two attributes there, if you click on randomize, it randomizes both. Um, so that's a nice and a bad thing. If you like one of the, the attributes, uh, you may not want to randomize it because it's going to lose that. But if you don't like both of the attributes, you have an option of getting some new ones. So that's how quantum tuning works. Uh, it's a nice addition. Uh, one thing that you can see once you actually go through and tune a few things, if you look closely up here, you'll see this R, this rare here, just says R. That means there's no tuning that's happened to it. 
But if you go to like the this the commons here, these helmets, they say C1. That means a tier one attribute has been added. Uh, if you have uh, a rare that has two attributes in there, it's going to say R2 and so forth. So it's a nice little addition that they added. I'm a big fan of it. It gives you a chance to upgrade existing equipment that you have. Just give that extra little edge, extra little bonus there. So to the shadow, to the NFT battle miner team, shadow depth team, uh, I really like this feature. I'm glad you added it. Uh, for those of you that are watching, if you have any other questions or any other features that you want beginner guides on, please let me know down in the comments below. I'm happy to answer those. Also, you can DM me at any time on Discord. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.